Hello everyone and welcome to Fandom Pop. This is the greatest channel. You have a really nice fucking motorcycle, dude. I'm wasting mine, doing nothing out of substance. I'm constantly reminded I'm running out of time. My business is getting strange and I'm disassociated. I'm just not convincing myself. Hello everyone, welcome to Fan Pop. This is the greatest channel on YouTube, and today we're talking about Godzilla. Is Godzilla? So this is my video of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which is, I guess, kind of opening up the Godzilla universe. Now we got a, a MC DC glass, all these universes, Brightburn. We got all these universes now. I guess this is a new Godzilla universe, but there's a Netflix one going on too, and there's just, there's just a lot of universes, like, it's like fictional portal out there, man. Which this is also a sequel to the 2014 Godzilla, and I guess they're like, oh shit, Marvel's making a bunch of money, um, cinematic universes? Yeah, we got one of those, it's called Godzilla, right? We had one of those recently? Ha! He's gonna fight King Kong and shit? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. What kind of references can we throw in there? Just just throw some footage of King Kong, just reference Skull Island. At any other minute in this film, they're just trying to be like, you know, we got another movie coming out next year that has King Kong in it. Which, by the way, before we even talk about this movie, let's just talk about how Godzilla, the king of these kaijus who can blow out breathing fire, he turns into a nuke in this film. He's fighting Ghidorah, the three-headed winged angel of hell, and he's gonna fight a giant monkey? And that's supposed to be, like, the next alpha? Anyway, cinematic universes are pissing me off, and we're talking about Godzilla King of the Monsters. I'm gonna be completely honest. I went into this film off of the first trailer, and that had me hype, and then my hype was kind of slowing down as the film actually appeared, and then by the time it came out and I saw it, it was completely underwhelming. Let me get this clear, Godzilla 2014, I only saw it the one time, but I did see it day one. It was a good film. I also remember the trailer for that film, very similar to the trailer for this movie, but that movie delivered. There was a little too much emphasis on the humans. I know that's the vocal point that most people have, but for some reason, the vocal point, the, mo the one big issue that kept that film from being more, they repeated in this film, and every other cool part about this film was completely dragged down and bogged down. Look, I love big bullshit CGI movies if they're cool and expensive and nice to look at. I, I'll watch them. I fuck with Pirates of the Caribbean. I fuck with Avengers and shit. But when it's just these gritty, like, Godzilla-sized battles and there's no weight to anything that's happening on top of there's no emotional backdrop to anything other than Godzilla fights for the humans. He's a really good, like, that's all it is in this film. We have the humans on this side, the kaiju on this side who are led by Ghidorah. Let's get, let's get this out the way. I, growing up, was into Godzilla. I had a Godzilla fighting game. I had like, uh, I think like art books or sketchbooks or something with Godzilla that I was really into. I even like that shitty fucking 2000 Godzilla movie. I haven't watched it since I was a kid, but I don't really want to. But I was, I was into Godzilla. I'm not nearly as big a fan as I know some people are out there, but that doesn't mean I didn't have a little room in my heart to open up and put in for Godzilla. But this film, in his 2019 state, did not deliver. Technology has allowed us to bring back all these characters that we always bring back every decade or so, and every decade it's like, how is it gonna look this time? And this time when we brought back Godzilla, it, it wasn't so good. I would rather go back to 2014. I would like to say, I do think this is a good movie. I gave it like a 6 out of 10, but I liked it for like reminding me of these kaijus and putting more names to these faces that I've known for so long. Like, um, Rodan, I, the second I saw him, I was like, it was on the tip of my tongue. I was like, that's, that's, yeah, that guy. That's a good feeling. And just seeing these characters and their utter destruction, their utter kind of get, being, being let out the cage, so to speak. This is cosmic, this is earth-shattering events that are happening in this universe. 
I, it's barely a civilization afterward, and they expect to have another big fight. I don't know what's going to be left of the humans in this world, but they're on the wire of humanity, and that is an intense feeling to have. Those are the parts I like about this film. That is probably the backdrop, barely even thought about in concept. That's not even important to the plot, though. It is not focused on. What is focused on for 90% of this movie is close-ups of people's faces that you don't care about. I am so sick of just throwing us into mil military packs and these people on computers and just expecting us to like them. If one of them's witty, if one of them's a dude from Cabin in the Woods in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, that cool old dude using Get Out, as long as he's there to make enough funny banter and then we got the old dude who's gonna be like, it's Godzilla. Like, he's he's intensely familiar and bonded with Godzilla for whatever reason, but when Godzilla sees him, he's, he's just a fucking human. There's not any weight behind that. So, yeah, that's, that's the backdrop for our movie and what's happening 90% of the movie. And the villain for this movie sucks. We got Norma Bates. She just, she, she wants to destroy the world to cure it. Every fucking bad guy who wants to destroy the earth in films nowadays is secretly trying to cure it. And this was the one that made the least amount of sense out of all of them. And had like the least amount of like fire behind it. And in the end she doesn't even follow up upon it. Yeah, and then we got Tywin Lannister just being fucking Tywin Lannister in a military 2019 Godzilla film. Not adding a whole lot. It's cool to see you, but like... Not doing much. But yeah, I tuned out of this film way more than I should have because this is Titans. These are Kaiju fighting in a death battle, an alpha male pack battle. But at some point, it's just like background information that these cities are getting blown up. There's not a whole lot of weight behind earth shattering weight that is actually on film. And the battles. I, I remember the 2014 one, there was like a epic roar in our crowd when Godzilla saved the day at the very end. And in this film, I didn't get that at all. This film was underwhelming. I wanted to love it, but for whatever reason, I could not. If you enjoyed this film, I know some people like this film and kind of lived up to everything. I know some people are probably going to shit on me because I like Pacific Rim 2 more than I like this film, but whatever. Anyway, Godzilla King of the Monsters, 6 out of 10. And with that, I leave you. Feeling like I'm living in a dome, people say that too. Open here to everything, but own opinion standpoints. Don't need a job to keep you standing stable. I got traumas, I got problems, you don't see me complaining. I'm in a dark mindset, tunnel vision is peaking. Living pan's labyrinth, life is all just fairy tale.